Hi, I'm Mac. And I'm G. And you're here for Money with Mac and G. Money with Mac and G is brought to you by Vision Tech Partners, which is Indiana's largest group of accredited investors. We have invested in over 40 companies with over $15 million. Visit us at visiontech-partners.com to learn more. Hey, everyone. We got a really important question we're diving into today. Yeah, we're going to discover what angels do because our last guest, Kobe Petrashani, said they can be really helpful for new companies. I think you're talking about angel investors. Is that right? Yeah, that. People that fly around with money dumping it on companies. They are actually referred to as angels. They definitely help new companies, which we learned are startups, by investing in those companies. And I think it's great as we start to talk about building your business and learning more about investing. So, Dad, who are we interviewing today? Well, this guy built and sold his tech company and then started an angel investing company in the Midwest. He personally invested in 42 companies, and his investment firm has invested over $16 million in 38 other companies throughout the U.S. Who is it, Dad? You don't have any guesses? Is it Mr. Johnson down the street? He has a huge pool. No, it's not him. But you know him as your crazy (laughs) uncle that likes to play golf. Uncle Tony! Yep, that's right. It's Kobe's dad, Tony Petrashani. I never knew he was an angel. Yeah, Aunt Lori says he's a little devil sometimes. (laughs) I agree. I've known him for a really long time, and I can see how he could be called that. And here he is. Welcome to the show, Tony. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. We're really happy you're here on Money with Mac and G. Our listeners will really enjoy hearing from you. And I think our guests will like having you because you're funny and have a lot of positive energy. I think what McKenna is saying, you have a lot of kid energy. Well, I haven't really put a big effort toward growing up. We've got a number of questions to ask you. But before we begin, can you tell our listeners one thing? Do you like Three Musketeers or Cotton Candy better? Three Musketeers. You don't like Cotton Candy better? Weren't you listening? He loves Three Musketeers. Now that we got that out of the way, tell us a little bit about your background. My mom and dad started a business out of our house when I was only five years old. They sold instruments and supplies to doctors. I got to watch the business grow, and I even got to work in it. Until they grew so big, they had to rent a building, and then my brother and I got our house back. And now you live in this sweet house. What's your favorite part of your current life, now that you did all this cool stuff? And the movie room has a screen over 15 feet long from corner to corner. It's awesome when Kobe and I play video games together on it. Yep, I do have some fun stuff, but there was a lot of hard work to get here. I had to guide my company through the Great Recession, which was a bad, bad time for businesses all around. Entrepreneurs have to really stick with it, especially through the tough times, if they want to be successful. I know you would say something like that. Dad says you whine a lot. Is that true? Yes, I do like wine, but I don't whine. That sounds a lot like your dad. Okay, you know that we are really into investing, and you've known my dad for a very long time. I think you've called him a serious tightwad for the last 30 years or so. How do you invest in other companies, and what does that mean? When most people think of getting money for a company, they think of going to a bank and getting a loan. The problem is, is most startup companies can't get a loan from a bank, Uh so we will actually give the company money in exchange for owning part of it. And you do this as an angel, but I don't see any wings. So, what do angel investors do? How do they help companies? Are you working with the company now? Well, an angel investor will give money to one or more companies, which gives them money to do things like buy stuff, pay for advertising and websites, and even pay their employees. Because the angel investor is part of the company, they also help find customers and employees for the company, along with giving advice on all sorts of things. If the company becomes a success, the angel shares in that success. And are you really invested in over 40 companies? Also, are there any really sweet ones you can tell us about? Well, I did invest in 42 companies, and some of the ones I think are really cool are Scioto Biosciences. They help premature babies be healthy. (laughs) React Mobile helps protect workers in hotels by having wearable panic buttons. And Thrive Agritech helps people grow food indoors so that no matter what the weather's like, we'll be able to eat in the future. Those all sound real cool. But how do you know if a business is worth investing in? It may sound awesome, but if it doesn't make money, that's a problem, right? We look at the team that started the company and ask, do they have the skills that they need to run a business? Do they really have the passion to stick through it through thick and thin? 
Do they even have a big enough market to sell into? Wow, that's cool. You get to learn a lot about them. Have you made any money? Every once in a while, you hit a real home run. We had a company we invested in that made us a lot of money in just seven months. Have you ever made a mistake? What did that look like? And did you lose money? I've made lots of mistakes picking companies to invest in.、Uh, uh, a lot of them weren't due to the product, but they were due to the team that didn't work well together or that they didn't have the right market for their product. We've had one company so far that went out of business, so I lost all the money I invested in that one. How is this type of investing different from what most people invest in, like stocks, bonds, earning interest, and bank accounts? When you invest in things like stocks and bonds, you can sell those and get your money back anytime you want. As an angel investor, you're investing in the company for the long haul, and you need to help the owners as much as you can. We started a dog sitting business, and as we grow, Dad tells us we'll need money to hire more people. But having help from an angel, along with extra money, sounds perfect. Would you suggest hiring an angel? Why or why not? Well, you have to think about whether you want to have a partner in your business or you want to have it all to yourself. If you want a partner that's going to help you grow faster and bigger, then you may want to consider bringing an angel in. How do owners get investors? Why would they? Why wouldn't they want one? Well, to find an investor, it could be as easy as searching on Google for a group of angels in your area. They're always looking for companies to invest in. Our company looks at 300 to 400 companies a year. If you could give our listeners a piece of advice, what would you do differently? I think I would ask for help more often and earlier. Last question. What would you recommend we do to grow wealthy? Well, when I was 12, I heard somebody tell me to buy low and sell high. But really, the one I like best is you need to pay yourself first. When you start making money, you need to make sure you take a percentage of that. And a big percentage, and put that away early. If you spend your money first, you might not have any left to save. Thanks for being here, Uncle Tony. It sounds like you are really helping out a lot of companies. I know you're going to do great. Yeah, I didn't know you were doing all of that. It sounds so cool, and I'm so glad we had a chance to learn so much from you. Thanks for being our uncle. Hey, thank you for having me on the show. It's been a ton of fun. I hope you'll come back so we can catch up on more insights, investing advice, and stories about great investments that you've done. Sure will. Thanks, Mac and G. It's been a real pleasure. Check us out on VisionTech-Partners.com so you can see all the cool stuff we've been doing. We will. What a great guest who's done some pretty awesome stuff. We're very lucky to have Tony here. Hey, Dad. All this talk about investing has me wondering: Is there any way we can get involved with investing ourselves? Absolutely. Money with Mac and G is brought to you by Stockyards Bank and Trust, assisting personal, commercial, and private banking clients since 